Hey guys, welcome to Relax and Learn Guitar. Excited to be back this week with you for another lesson, a live lesson. Been on a serious Johnny Cash kick lately, so there could be worse things, right? Um, we're going to be taking on another Johnny Cash song tonight, uh, The Ring of Fire, one of his greatest, I think. And I'm going to show you um, a couple of different ways to play it as usual, and we're going to focus on what we'll call the campfire campfire version of the song. And why I say that is I'm going to teach you a way to play this so when you're hanging around the campfire with your family and friends, so to speak, that you'll be able to play this horn section. Unless, in fact, you've got a mariachi band hanging out with you around the campfire, then you don't have to worry about it. But since that really isn't the case for most of us, it's nice to learn how to play those horn licks on the guitar. So, uh, this song is in the key of G. I'm not using a, a capo or anything tonight. And actually on the recording on the record, it's in the key of G as well without a capo. I've watched some YouTube videos and he did it um, a couple different versions with his capo in various places. But for tonight, we're going capo free. So we're going to focus on the intro or uh, the horn section kind of part. Um, and you know, kind of also put that in together with the um, rhythm pieces. And that's probably the, the most of what we'll focus on tonight. Uh, there'll be a part two of the lesson for the uh, verse and chorus later. So what we're going for tonight is this uh, iconic sound. So. to show you kind of how to play that lick a little higher in the register too. So in the key of G and this entire lick is kind of built around that G so we're going to start with uh, the third string or the D string. Uh, you're going to play that open uh, with a um, down up down up down. So the dun da dun, dun dun dun. That's the first part of the lick. Oh sorry let me back up. This little walk up, um, the, let's do that part, part first. So that's on the fifth string or the A string. You're going to use your index finger, second fret, your uh, middle finger, third fret, and your ring finger on the fourth fret. And it's just a walk up. And then you go to that open third string. And again, that's strummed down, up, down, up, down. So, so far, you have this. Then you put your index finger on the third string, uh, second fret. Your middle finger, fifth string, third fret. Then back to that open third string. So that whole kind of first part or the phrase of that lick, the walk up is like this. I'll just call out the frets. Um, two, three, four. because of where this lick kind of plays out. And the G you're going to go down, up, down, up, down. So it sounds like this. And then nice and uh, easy part here for the second part of this because you're in the G shape already, so leave your hands like that. And you're going to play that fifth string that's fretted on the second fret already because of the G chord. And that same pattern, down, up, down, up, down. Then up to the third fret with the middle finger. Then open. And then back to the second fret. So the nice part of that second part of the lick is all of it is on this fifth string. So on the second fret, down, up, down. back of that G. And you want to get used to that pattern. The uh, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up. So 
So from the top, it's this. So playing it that way is going to make it sound pretty good if you're just the only one playing around the campfire and you don't have the mariachi band we talked about earlier. Uh, I'll show you how to play this in a higher register. Um, same patterns, different strings obviously. So you're going to start with your ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And it's that same pattern, down, up, down, up, down. Then an open first string. First finger, second string, first fret. And then back up to that where you started with your ring finger on the third fret of the second string. So again, it's so three, 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 open, one, three. And then you're gonna do the open second string, same pattern. Down, up, down, up, down, first fret of the second string. 2nd fret of the 3rd string, back to the open 2nd string. So that again is like this. You can still play those G's, you know, in the middle of there, it's a little trickier that way. See how I show you the first the first way we've learned it. It's a little easier to get to that G chord. So, hope you find that helpful. Uh, there's a lot going on in that first part, but a uh, very cool little lick to learn. And um, as I always say, start out slow. and then slowly work up to the speed that the song's actually in. And uh, that'll get you a good start there. For the part two of the lesson, I'll show you the rest of the chords for the, the way he plays the verse and that chorus. So uh, that's it for tonight's lesson. Again, great to be back this week. And as always, check out relaxandlearnguitar.com. And actually, the uh, forward slash free lesson, if you type that in there, it's going to come in really handy because uh, the verse and chorus of this song... There's some really quick chord changes and that uh, forward slash free lesson is going to get you a free lesson on uh, the secret to those smooth chord changes. Which you'll need for, well, you'll need it for a lot of songs, but come in very handy for this one as well. So I uh, hope you like that and I'll see you guys for the next live lesson. So take care.